Time for the next article. And it looks like we've uh, talked about all of the core Jericho team, so now we're gonna talk about some of the other folks. Agent Muriel Green. 172 in height, 58 kilograms, 29 years old, brown eyes, dark hair, blood group A positive. Muriel Green was born into a normal middle class family in Washington. After the tragic death of her father in a traffic accident, little Muriel began to act strangely. She would talk to the wall or the armchair and told her mother private things that only her father had known. In the beginning, this occurred very sporadically, but gradually the situation worsened and her mother, who took her to several child psychologists who tried unsuccessfully to treat her, was driven mad. The phenomenon seemed to lessen in intensity, only to return during her adolescence with a vengeance. Muriel experienced more and more intense episodes. She seemed possessed. Her eyes rolled back in her head and she spoke in the voices of others. Mrs. Green plunged into a deep depression, became an alcoholic and committed suicide using barbiturates. Muriel Green became a ward of the state. Because of her violent episodes, she was placed in a reform school. The teachers in charge of her school believed she was suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. Reports of Green's strange behavior were not missed by the DOW, who got in contact with Muriel. Tests confirmed the development of a sixth sense. After a short training period, Muriel Green entered the DOW as an investigator of the paranormal. Her first go at fieldwork took her to Chechnya, where she was under the supervision of Paul Rawlings. They never separated during uh, the several African and European campaigns. At the beginning of the 21st century, she was reassigned to a position at the Vigil Outpost, where she has been for the last few years recording the development of the breach. A few hours ago, Muriel Green warned Langley of the assault on the post by an armed group of the Brotherhood of the Dark Rapture, led by Arnold Leach. Shortly thereafter, an impenetrable storm preceded by a strong electromagnetic pulse covered the area. It has not been possible to establish contact with the post since then.